Hey yo, what's pop a lop and then welcome back to the Crypto Galaxy. Here's an updated list of my top seven cryptos to buy now and become a next crypto millionaire and be rich and super sneaking rich. And holy crap, dude, we got a super chat already from jmang7489 with the five dollars. Thanks, man. You're saying. Thank God TG is back on live so that cast can keep on pumping. Can you give a shout out to my son Tristan? He's watching with me. Yes, shout out to your son Tristan. And we're going to pump it up real quick for your son Tristan. Uh, may he be the, recept, uh, the receiver of generational wealth from his father, Jay Mang. Uh, I think it will make quite a bit of profit with your Caspa bags. You can pass it on to your son Tristan. Your son Tristan can pass it on to his son and so on and so forth. Caspa will become the next best crypto, the number two, the number three, the next Bitcoin, the next Ethereum. I think in your son's lifetime, Caspa could pump to $1,000. I'm serious. Like that's in, I don't know, 70 years. I think in the next 10 years, Caspa could hit $10 or $100, even $150. In the next two years, Caspa could realistically hit five to ten dollars but long term in your son's lifetime it can hit one thousand dollars right so pack your bags pack your caspa pass it on to your son tristan shout out to tristan he is gonna possibly not have to work in his life ever <laughs> and is that crazy can you believe people are looking at caspa right now at nine cents and they're still not buying people are really missing caspa this is so cheap Don't you know, pump it up. You gotta pump it up. All right, so obviously Caspa is my number one favorite crypto, like always. Uh, I think this should be at least 80 or 90% of your portfolio. Like literally, at least 80%. All these other cryptos, GFAL, Hello, Peppy, Area, Joy, Neon, combined, these should never be more than 20% of your portfolio. I would recommend five to 10%, but if you really wanna be risky, you can go 20%. For my portfolio, I'm at about 10% in a combination of these six cryptos. I've got a, a few percent in each one. What I usually do is I'll pack my bag at 1% in one of these, and then they start pumping, and then they'll start pumping to like 5% of my portfolio. And if that happens, I have the option to just kind of shave off the bag, take my initials, and then put it into Caspa, because Caspa is the ultimate goal. There's a reason why Caspa is an A+. Plus. Actually, hold on. You know what? A-plus is FUD. <laughs> Slap me. Caspa is A++. Plus plus. There we go. All right, that's better. Uh, G file, hello, Peppy. I've got a B's. Area, Joy, and Neon are a B-. minus. Man, I may have to take Hello off the list. It's so good and bullish, but dude, it pumped a lot. Hello already pumped to a, a hundred million MC. So I think it's a uh, diminishing returns now, you know, like Hello's great. I think there's another 50X left in the tank, maybe hundred X if it hits 10 billion market cap. I think uh, more realistically though, we're looking at 50X on Hello. We might be losing potential for the hundred X. GFAL still, I think is a hundred X potential. We'll have to see how the token unlocks go. Area is dirt cheap. This is still under 20 mil market cap. Neon is dirt cheap. That's under a 20 mil market cap. Joystream is the one I'm kind of keeping an eye on right now. This is actually my most recent buy alert is Joystream. And the reason for that is all these cryptos kind of pumped a lot already, which, you know, really sucks because then we don't get to buy in cheaper. <laughs> it's like you should not be buying during the pumps, but... Joystream. This is not even the right one. What the heck is this? Get out of here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, don't buy the Joy on Mexi. That's the that's the fake Joy. That's not the real Joy. You got to get Joy Stream. Chart looking really bullish because it's got higher highs. Uh, we've also got kind of higher floors. Uh, this actual, actually, this recent floor just bounced off the re the the recent all time highs. You see this previous all time high of one point nine cents bounced off one point nine cents, or is that two cents? Either way, I think Joystream is looking pretty bullish for potential short term profits. And also, if you look at the 
volume for Joystream on coin market cap. This will combine the BitGet uh, volume data because if you look at the Mexi chart, it's not going to show all the volume from the other exchanges. This is just Mexi. But if you look at BitGet combined with Mexi, check out the, the volume here. Right around here, you see how the volume just kind of like slowly goes up and up and up. So that means more people are coming into our Ponzi scheme to pump our bags. So more people coming in, more buyers. The Joystream team are diamond hands. It's a good fundamental, you know. It's a supposed YouTube killer. Like, yeah, right. No, Nothing's going to kill YouTube. <laughs> There's no way Joystream overtakes YouTube. That's physically impossible. But... Uh, as far as the crypto goes, it's good marketing. They'll pump our bags. Uh, I think it's looking bullish. It's a layer one. I just really wish they would get cold storage support. There's no tangent or one key support, no ledger, no treasure, no nothing. So I'm holding on a Mexi like a noob. Danny Watson, I can't find Neon. Please direct us. It's literally on CoinMarketCap. You just type in the search bar, Neon. And voila, there's Neon. <laughs> what do you mean you can't find Neon? Dude, Neon is pump or lumping. Neon is at 26 cents. It's looking bullish. It's getting more volume too. So I think Neon, I don't know if it's technically at all time highs because the coin market cap data does not show the launch of Neon. I think the first exchange was Bybit or Gate. Anyways. Neon is not going to have any unlocks until July 2024. So we still have a lot of time until they start unlocking and dumping the price on us. So we got time. That's why I think Neon is looking good, at least for the next eight months. So Neon looking good. Kind of expenses to buy now, but I mean, if you want to go long term, it's a decent entry. Uh, Virtual Moon, welcome to the Elite Tier. Welcome to the YouTube membership. New YouTube member. Congrats, man let's go let's go nice dude you got the badge next to your name it's not going to show on here but you can see it up here above my head in the chat you got the blue badge congratulations man also i believe you're on my vip membership welcome to the youtube live stream thank you man for your, all your support and welcome to the youtube membership you can use stickers and i don't think you have to wait for the one minute cooldown tg i cannot find neon on maxi it's not on there there's no neon on maxi it's not there I bought Neon on BitMart. Don't use CoinX. They won't let you withdraw. So you got to do BitMart. Uh, if Bybit or Gate lets you KYC, they won't, they won't let you in the USA. But if your country allows it, you can do... I'd recommend first do Bybit or Gate. But you can't do those in the USA. So check your country's regulations. Maybe you can. Neon is on Gate or CoinX. Yeah, it's on CoinX, but you can't withdraw. So don't use CoinX. If Gate is legal in your country for verification and kyc you can do that but for me they're not gonna let me so i did bitmart why is veracity in the scam section <laughs> oh man freaking veracity let's look but it's a really old pump and dump scam ponzi coin how is the price doing? It's negative 90% from the all-time highs. Jeez, dude. Gigantic pump and dump. Um, Terpy. I do not recommend investing in cryptos uh, that came out before the last bull run because then you're super late and the insider is dumped on you. You got to buy the new cryptos with pumping potential. All these cryptos on my list are new, new, N-E-W, new. They came out after January 2022 because the crypto top last bull run was November, December 2021. I don't recommend any cryptos at all that came out before 2022. They're old. You need new cryptos. They have more hype, more potential, more dev and team activity. Most of the supply is usually locked up. It's just more everything is coming for the new cryptos. But this, this old crap from the last bull run is just dead. It's garbage. Neon is on CoinX. I do not recommend CoinX. They will not let you withdraw. Is Neon on PancakeSwap? <laughs> 
No, it's not. It's it's uh I think it's on the Solana decks maybe, but it's not on Pancake Swap. It's a Solana token. Pancake Swap is for BNB chain tokens. Hey, been here a while, just on a different Google account, made this one, so I have a name. Same name as Discord. Okay, very cool, very cool, yeah. Yes, if you're on my VIP membership and you're on YouTube, please, please to help your beloved CG, help me. Use the same name in both YouTube and on my Discord. Otherwise, I get so confused trying to uh, mix and match names up from, you know, people in my Discord group and my VIP membership and people who are... You know, you're on here on YouTube making comments. It's like, I, I can't keep track of you if you're, uh, if you have different names. And also, it also helps me if you update your profile picture. So virtual moon, get a profile picture. Just put a moon, put literally anything. Just get a moon, put anything. Cause it really sets you apart from just like a letter V. Or if you're on my discord and you have these really ugly discord controller uh, logos, just update your profile picture. Let's see. Jeez, dude. It's like almost everybody in my VIP membership has no profile pictures. Crypto Dave, Crypto Gems, Emma, GB, Goran, Ofen, Jimmy, K Canone, Kate, Marsh. I'm calling out everyone on my Discord. If you have no profile picture, I slap you. Please update your profile picture and please match up your name on YouTube to Discord. It'll help me a lot. All right, thank you very much. Enough slapping. I gotta be nicer. Man, why do I just slap people? Uh, what hardware wallet supports Neon? Tanjum and Wonky. Uh, either one is fine. Use my promo code on the screen, Galaxy. You get a discount on Tanjum and same promo code for Wonky. You get a discount on the Wonky. One word in caps, Galaxy, five or 10% off. Neon is a Solana chain token, and you can put it on Tandrum or Wonky. Also, Papa Mex, are you still holding holding your quant? Get him out of here. Get out. Man, that thing is old. Happy Friday. 100% Caspa, very nice. Crypto Jordan is still shorting Caspa. <laughs> Uh, Sarah, received, uh, you're the one who finally encouraged me to remove my cryptos and hot wallet. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Yes, you got you to gotta take all your crap off of the exchanges and hot wallets. Cold storage is way safer. Um, I think the Hubi exchange got hacked for like $60 million because they don't even use hot wallets. They have everything on, or they don't, ha they don't use cold wallets. They have everything on hot wallets. It's an easy way to become homeless overnight is if you have all your crypto on exchanges like Mexi, Uphold, Coinbase, and if you just use hot wallets like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, you're going to be homeless like in one day. Aspa is S++++. Yes, it is. Papa Max, thanks, man. Thank you so much, dude. I changed your life. Wow. Are you in my VIP membership group? Or you got to join our group, man. Join the group. Just do it. Do it. Get in the Discord. Just Go make some uh, good it. connections in here. Uh, you can track my portfolio. And I have some more videos on my VIP membership where I'm talking about my exit strategies for taking profits for Caspa in the next bull run. Let's go see, what does CG have in his VIP membership? My three-step plan to cash out profits with Caspa. Ooh. Well, that video looks like a good watch. Yeah, so you got to get on my VIP membership. And congrats on the profits. If you made six figures in Caspa, you have 100 bucks for my VIP membership. There's no excuses. Bill just made 200K. How do I send you a 50 cent super chat? <laughs> Cheap ass. Get him out of here. Get out. 50 cent super chat. Come on, man. When Cass gets listed on tier one, is a good idea to sell, send Cass off Mexi onto the tier one? No, you should put Caspa on your cold storage, crypto genius. And then when you're ready to take profits, then you can sell on a, on a tier one. You're supposed to hold Casp on a cold storage wallet. Do you not have Tanjum or One Key? 
please tell me you have your caspa on a cold storage hardware wallet <laughs> what's the next jazz me oh my god adrian barrows thanks for the 1000 clp super chat is ultron still bullish nah i don't think so I dumped my whole bag of Ultron. You know, the chart looks bullish. It has potential, but the market cap is too big. It's already in the billions, billions. And, billions and billions and billions. A lot of billions. And billions, um, and billions 950 million market cap. Fully diluted is 5.6 billion. That's too much. So I don't know, man. I don't know what the true market cap is. But if it's in the billions, that's just too expensive. So, I mean, it's a decent crypto. It has potential. Um, I used to invest in it. I actually sold it for profits because I bought my Ultron at eight cents and I sold it at the top for 18 cents. It's just whatever. I mean, it's it's bullish, but you know, how much money are you trying to make? If, you, if, you, if you're going for like a, a 20 X, I think it's decent, but I, I'm going for the hundred X. I think for a similar market cap, you may as well just get Caspa. Caspa is way better than Ultron for the same price. So I would look at Caspa over ULX. So it's bullish, yes, but there's better options. The reason I have these other six micro caps on here is because they're freaking micro caps, dude. They can do higher X potential and gains. They're better lottery tickets. Ultron is, uh, is way too big in market cap, but I think their market cap information could be incorrect. I don't know what the actual market cap is. And I'll, I think nobody else knows. So it, it's just questionable. I'll keep an eye on it. Maybe it can be an honorable mention, but it's just questionable. How do you know when the bull run has actually started? Is, is, is it is the, when the Bitcoin having or when Bitcoin hits all time highs? <clears throat> um, the bull run starts at the Bitcoin having. Um, and also when Bitcoin hits all time highs, that's also, that's also the bull run. People say we're in a bear market, but everything seems to be pumping. I mean, yeah, everything's pumping. There's always going to be pumps here and there in the bear market, but this is not the bull run. There's no way. This is too soon because uh, people are just going to take profits eventually. Like, I know everything's pumping right now, but I guarantee you before the next bull run, we're going to see some small pullbacks. Everyone's going to be like, oh my God, I thought the bull run was here. What happened? Why is everything dumping? So, you know, celebrate the pumps now. Woohoo. But it's, uh, it's going to be a pullback. I'm just trying to keep, keep it realistic. There's always going to be a correction. So the bull run starts at the Bitcoin halving officially, which is when? Bitcoin halving countdown. So the Bitcoin, the bull run for crypto is in 152 days. All right, so pack your bags now before the bull run starts. All right, you don't want to be late. Don't be that guy who buys Bitcoin after the having after it hit all his all-time highs don't be that guy by now this is the best time after hello dumps can we start calling it goodbye <laughs> oh what a joke that's a good one jacob <laughs> mr v your stream is entertaining and educational at the same time when do you plan to upgrade with new sounds for your soundboard is funny yeah, I got to upgrade. I, I don't know what sound effects to get. Like, these are honestly the best sound effects I could find. And I'm too lazy to change them. But you make a good point. I got to change them eventually because it's getting old. Sugar Lump, thanks for the $2 super chat. Hey, CG. I finally talked my friend into buying Caspa. Nice, dude. You know, it's, 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 this is the time when it's really easy for people to start buying Caspa because it's pumping a lot. And whenever people see cryptos that keep pumping a lot, they go, oh my gosh, what is this thing? You told me about it. And now, now I believe, Caspa, after it hits nine cents. Now I believe in it. <laughs> after the pumps. I was like, dude, Caspa's been great forever. Nothing has changed in Caspa's technology, team development, and plans. It's been the same thing. But whatever, man. I mean, if this is what it takes for people to join Caspa, so be it. Uh, congratulations, dude. Get your friends in Caspa now before the bull run. We have 150 days left until the bull run starts. So I think by the time the bull run comes in 150 days, I think Caspa could realistically hit 50 cents. Maybe a dollar. I don't think a dollar. I think 40 cents, 50 cents. So make sure to get Caspa now before the bull run starts because you can still make a, a 5x return between now and the bull run. 
it's still pumping a lot. So congrats, man. Get your friends in the CASPA. Get your friends and family in. You got to get your CASPA now before the bull run. Can I pay for my membership with Jasmine? Get out of here. Get out. Get out of here. Neon 8 on Tanjum? Yes, it is. You have to add it as a custom Solana chain token. You can't just like search it and find it. You have to add it manually. Don't have to sell Caspa on a tier one. Create it for stable coins and then sell on tier one when you need fiat. Exactly. Take your Caspa profits into stable coins. Hold your stable coins on cold storage. And then when you need fiat profits, you can transfer stable coins to the tier one exchange. Do not hold all your Caspa on exchanges, especially if you have a lot of Caspa. Learner says, I just found your channel after the Caspa pump. I am a beginner in crypto. Which coin do you suggest to buy that can at least go 500x? Um, Caspa? <laughs> I mean, when do you want to hit a 500x? Like, you want a 500x now? In like tomorrow? Or do you want it in like two years? Because, you know, the, the longer you wait, the safer it'll be. I think in your lifetime, Caspa can do 500x. I think in the next 10 years, Caspa will definitely do 500x. What would be the price for that? Let's see. Uh, .09x500. $45? I think Caspa will hit $100 in the next 10 years. So if you want 500x, just go buy Caspa. Now, if you're trying to make 500x faster, um, there's only a few options. Uh, let's see. Neon, Joystream, Area. Those are probably the only like short-term 500x potential cryptos, but those are risky. I don't recommend only buying those just because it's a higher X. Even though it's a higher X, it's way riskier. So um, if you're a beginner, you should put at least 80 or 90% of your portfolio in Caspa, and the other 10 to 20% can go in all these risky microcap coins. Why hello only 50x? The market cap is like 100 million, so it's diminishing returns. Historically speaking, the only 100x's that we've ever had came from under 30 million market cap. Like that's the math, the science. Now it's not 100% true all the time, but 99% of the time, if you're trying to hit 100x, the market cap needs to be under 30 million. So hello market cap is too big. The only cryptos on this list under 30 million market cap is Area, Joy, and Neon. Uh, GFAL is like, I think, 40 million, so it's close. Is Trezor good? Yeah, Trezor's pretty good. GFAL is sleeping? It's at the all time highs. You call that sleeping? Literally pumping a lot. I mean, I guess you could say long term it's a sleeper, but it's been pumping a lot. Slap coin is coming. Earn to slap, slap to earn. I like it. Viot scam. Adrian Barrows, thanks for the 2500 CLP. Let it be known, CG never mentions Caspa, means dandruff in Spanish. The ultimate FUD. Get out of here. Yes, yes, yes. We know Caspa means dandruff in Spanish, but it's spelled with a C. So it's pronounced the same, but it's spelled differently. All right. So it's a different kind of Caspa. All right. Thanks for the 1000 CLP. Again, daily reminder, Caspa means dandruff in Spanish. We know, we know. Caspa is dandruff, all right, in Spanish. Good thing I don't know much Spanish, all right? <laughs> I just know English. That's all I know. I know English and I have really bad French. I can speak a little bit of French. Bonjour. That's all I know. Is this hello? Uh, if you can't buy Caspa, turn off PC and turn it on again. <laughs> hey man, thanks for updating your profile picture of Virtual Moon. It's great to see. Use the same picture on Discord too. Slap me? All right. If you want to be slapped, you just get slapped. New crypto mean bull moon? 
That just sounds like a scam. Good day, CG. Can't wait to see how many Casper will be. Holy S. It will be up. Unforget. Travel. How many actions do you think? Join me. Uh, man, that's a lot of questions. So many people. How do I buy Casper? How do I sell Casper? Does no one do their own research anymore? <laughs> I know. Does no one do their own research? If you're trying to buy and sell Casper, you can just get it on Mexi. That's what I do. I use Mexi. And you have to use a VPN uh, in the USA. I'm mad. I can't buy Caspa on Kronos. Dude, oh my god. Caspa is a layer one. You're not supposed to buy it on Kronos. Uh, Adrian, thanks for the 1,000 CLP super chat. Opinion on Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, 10 Inu. Is that the next Peppy? Probably not. But it has potential. Like, you can just buy a little bit if you really want to gamble. I think the chart's bullish, but there's no guarantee this is going to pump. This could just dump, you know? It could, it could just dump straight to zero if the devs are done with it. So, I, I don't know, dude. This is really risky. I'm not going to waste my time with it because Pepe's listed on all the big exchanges except Coinbase. It's on Binance, Kraken, Gemini, Crypto.com. But this Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic, Taninu, it, it's only on BitGet and, like, Poloniex. It, this is not on any reputable big exchanges. I think it's going to dump. So we'll we'll see. We'll see. It has potential. It has a chance as a meme coin, but I'm not going to bet on it. Like, I, I, I've looked at all the meme coins. I don't see the next Peppy yet. I don't see it. I don't think this is it, but it could have potential. When it comes to these meme coins, you just throw in like 20 bucks. You know what I'm saying? Just, just 20 bucks. See what happens. Treat it as a lottery ticket. If you want a safer lottery ticket for meme coins, Get some Peppy. I think that's the only decent meme coin for for big gains. If you want a safe meme coin, get Dogecoin. I think that's the best one, but you're not going to make as much returns on Dogecoin. The market cap is too big. It's uh 10 billion. So I would say get some Peppy, but I, I wouldn't buy this Harry Potter. Well, oh, check it out. I got a new Casper water bottle. This thing is freaking cool. I did a custom design, custom printed. I know it looks kind of invisible. That's because my green screen, the green colors are being, uh, blur. They were being invisibilized. Is that even a word? But yeah, it looks pretty cool, man. The Casper water bottle. I also got some more Casper merch coming in the mail. GFAL, but yeah, so GFAL has unlocks on the 13th. That's when you can buy if you want. Oh, uh, the price will go down on the 13th. Mover? I think I have that on the scams list, dude. It's right here. Learner. Bro. Before you make a comment, look at the scam coins list. It's right there on the far left of this, far right of the screen. Mover. Look at the all-time chart. It's a huge pump and dump rug pull. Looks terrible. It cannot go to all-time highs if it's negative 99% from the all-time highs. It's physically impossible. All right, I'm done picking on you. I should not pick on you so much. Man, why am I so mean? Where's my therapist? I gotta go talk to my therapist. Uh, Sinverse, that's a scam coin. I got a lot of safe moon. You can slap me. Decimated scam. Tech chum. Uh, it has potential. You can get a little bit. I'll put it on my honorable mentions. I actually think Tech chum might have a re revival. I used to hold it and then I hated it. And now I think it's like, I don't know. It could go somewhere. We'll see. You can get some Tech chum if you want. It, it's a small market cap. It's a layer one. It has a good fundamental. I just think that the team sucks. The team sucks. Um, chart looks pretty good. Volume is good. Market cap is 58 million. So that's pretty decent. The fully diluted market cap is 112 million. So don't worry too much about like unlocks dumping on you. Uh, they paid to list on exchanges like BitGet, Maxi, BitMart, CoinW. So I think it's fine. It's only negative 30% from the all-time highs. 
has a chance has potential you, you can buy some if you want I'll, I'll keep it on the honorable mentions i used to have some and then i sold it but i i could i could buy back in i just think that for a similar market cap i think these other picks are better like i think area is better joy streams better neon is better g foul is better all of these cryptos have smaller market caps than tectum and i think they're just better fundamentally with better teams so you know tectum's not the worst i'll consider it but i think there's better options available crypto lewis was up tg is a certified caspa maxi chris hey cg old pick dion is mooning now you still think is a big scam Dione was never my pick. I have never had Dione. I've never held it. I've never said it was bullish. When did I ever say that? I don't like Dione. Never have, and I probably never will. Finding out where to buy these coins is the hard part. Luan, it's it's really easy. Dude, have you ever gone to Coin Market Cap? Oh my gosh, do I need to hold your hand through this? Okay, you go to coinmarketcap.com, all right? Here, let me put this in the chat real quick because you're like really struggling. All right. Coinmarketcap.com. Where's the chat? I literally just put it in the chat. I can't see it. All right, here we go. Coinmarketcap.com. You put that in your web browser. All right. And if you want to buy, for example, I don't know, Caspa, you click on Caspa. Over here in the top, you see where it says markets. You click that, scroll down, and you can see it says here, exchanges. Bada bing, bada boom. Any crypto you want to buy is listed right here. These are all the options. Now, you have to be careful because certain exchanges force you to verify and do KYC. Some don't. Some work in certain countries. Some don't work in other countries. The easiest way is just to use Mexi and get a VPN because then you don't have to ever worry about restrictions. And Mexi has the most exchanges, most cryptos listed in general. This is the one that I use the most is Mexi, all right? M-E-X-E. -E. Just sign up on this one. Do it! And get a VPN. Uh, I use NordVPN. I have a link in the description for that. So that's really all you got to do. Man, it's so simple to do. It's really not that hard. Uh, Evan Floyd, hey CG, after taking profits, would you put some of your profits into BDC for long-term store of value after market dips? I think BDC is around to stay. Uh, yeah, I agree. And thank you for the super chat. When you take profits for these cryptos after the bull run crashes, I'm definitely planning to put all these profits in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to be the permanent number one crypto forever. Like there's no, there's no dethroning Bitcoin. ETH, ETH, ETH's not going to do it. <clears throat> Caspa's not going to do it. Nothing's going to take it down. So I think Bitcoin will be the number one forever. And what you have to do is take all your profits at the top of the bull run, at the end of the bull run, and then after the crash, when you think the crash is done crashing, then you put your profits back in Bitcoin, and then you store your profits in Bitcoin. It is a long-term store of value. So yeah. Bitcoin is around to stay, and I do recommend putting profits in Bitcoin. I'll probably put most of my profits in Bitcoin, Caspa, and maybe some stable coins, but that's about it. Clinton Logan, thanks for the $10 super chat. CG, is CoinX not allowing any withdrawals or specific cryptos? Thank you kindly, sir. Hold on, let me, oops, that's way too low. There we go. That's better. Uh, thank uh, and thanks for saving me from Jasmine. <laughs> you had Jasmine. I could pay off my house right now with the Caspa gains. Dang, dude, that's crazy. Nice. So Coinex recently got hacked for seventy-five million dollars. They're in a really bad financial situation. They're all very on edge because the hack. Basically, the way it worked is that. The hacker did a withdrawal of like $50 million and CoinEx mistakenly approved of it, you know? <laughs> Could you imagine if you just tried to withdraw $50 million when you don't actually have that much and they just let you do it? 
<laughs> that's like the easiest way to hack any any exchange. And it's funny how they never explain that that's how they got hacked. Um, so it's not you, Clinton. It's CoinEx. They specifically disabled the withdrawing of certain cryptos because they're trying to figure out how they got hacked so easily. So it's not you. Certain cryptos you can withdraw from CoinEx, others you cannot. It's not you, it's everybody. This is why I don't recommend using CoinEx anymore until they fix this. So for now, if you're trying to buy cryptos, get on Maxi or what's the other one? Bitmart. Bitmart's not that good. It's only for Neon. But otherwise, get Maxi. And congrats on the Casper profits. Like, dang, dude. Dude, if you have enough Casper profits to pay off your house, you definitely have enough money to join my VIP membership. Because in my VIP membership group in Discord, we talk about this thing all the time. We, we, we always talk about CoinX is not letting me withdraw. What exchange do I use? Why am I having these problems? It's like all these questions are always answered in Discord because think about it this way. If you have a question about something, I guarantee you 99% sure somebody else had the same exact question. They asked the question in Discord and then somebody gave an answer, right? So if you want 24-7 tech support and a good network of people and connections to have in crypto, I do strongly recommend get on my Discord group. Just do it. Do it. Just join. If you can pay Just off your house for your mortgage, it. you have $100. Don't let your dreams so we're here, we're here to help you 24-7 yes, if you ever have more of these questions. Tomorrow. So just do it. Mikey B, what's up, man? Thanks for the $10. Super chat. What up, Grandmaster CG? How are your bags doing? Minor pump a lumpin', brother. Great alpha, my dude. I'm up over a quarter million this last pump. Wouldn't be where I am without you. Thanks. Let's freaking go. Thank you very much, Mikey B. May the pumps be with you. Your bags are pumping. Let's get it, man. We got to pump it up. This pump it up goes out to you, Mikey, because your bags are pump a lumpin'. My bags are pump a lumpin'. What a time to be alive. Who make gains in the bear market? I did not think it was possible, but I guess it is. Lo and behold, all my bags are pump a lumpin. I got to go check. How's my portfolio doing performance wise? Don't you know? Pump that up. You got to pump that up. Oh, dude. All my stuff is pumping. All right. Check out my portfolio's performance. Here, let me get rid of the, the falling money. Oops, I accidentally stopped to pump it up. All right, we'll pump it up again. All right, check this out. Look at the screen. The performance of my cryptos over the past seven days. Plus 75% on Caspa. Plus 41% on Hello. Plus 38% on Joystream, 24% on Pepe, 18% for Neon, or I mean Area, and 15% for Neon. Everything is pump a lumping. All my bags are pumping. All of them. I think. Okay, everything except for games for a living. Games for a living is negative 1% over the last week, all right? So I can deal with a negative 1%. I can deal with it. Everything else, though, is just pumping like crazy. So may the pumps be with you, man. This is just insane. Man, people are really missing out. Kevin, thanks for the $5 super chat. Can you find Dynex tokenomics? Shouldn't be that hard. Let's see, Dynex tokenomics. I'll just do a Google search. Is this not it? Is it on Reddit? Yeah, it's always in Discord. So if you want the answer for the tokenomics, just go to the, the Discord or the Telegram, and then you'll see it. All right, so Kevin... On CoinMarketCap, Dynex's page, go down here, go to the Discord or Telegram, all right? Go to one of these groups, search in the search bar, Tokenomics. I am 100% sure somebody else asked the same exact question. And you can find the Tokenomics in pretty much every crypto's Discord or Telegram always has the answer because somebody else has always asked the same exact question, all right? So just go do it.
That's your homework. Adrian, thanks for the 2,500 CLP. Uh, a friend wants to sell his GPL and put the money in Peppy. Is that a good idea? I mean, it's not a bad idea. You can do that. I think Peppy's at a pretty good price right now. It's just that Peppy's going to take a longer time to pump. Like, I think short term, G Fowl will keep pumping a lot more. But Peppy, I think, is just going to go flat sideways for a long time, like several months to a year. So I would not do it. But if he likes Pepe better, then you can just do it. If, if he's more of a long term investor and trader and he's not like a super active day trader, you can do it. I'm not saying it's a good idea. It's not a bad idea. It's just up to you. Either one is fine. I treat them equally. Like Pepe is decent. G Fell is decent. Neither is better than the other. It's really hard to time these. I just think that short term, G Fell will keep pumping up and up and up. But I think Pepe is going to be going sideways for a long time. So, uh, yeah, it's up to you, man. It's up to him. Briscoe Wolf, thanks for the $10 super chat. Is it safe to transfer 2.5 million Caspa to Mexi? No, that's a lot. You got to break it up in small transactions. If you do 2.5 million at once and then they flag your account and they freeze it for suspicious activity, you're screwed. So do it in small amounts. Um, is there a threshold? They force KYC at what tier level? What should large Caspa holders do when moving large amounts? So if you try to withdraw a lot, like over $10,000 at a time, they're going to flag your account and force you to verify yourself. Just in general, for good practice, keep every transaction under $10,000 just to be safe. So is it safe to transfer $2.5 million? If you're willing to lose it, then I guess it's safe. <laughs> so let me ask you this, Briscoe Wolf. How much CASPA are you willing to lose at a time, all right? That is the most you should transfer, okay? So for example, if you're saying, oh, well, I think 25,000 cash ball is the most I'm willing to lose at any given point. That's the most you should ever transfer to or from the exchange. But if you're, if you're worried about losing more than that amount, I would not just transfer the entire 2.5 million cash ball at once to Mexi. That is way too much. You can try, but you're taking a gigantic risk. If they freeze your account, you're totally screwed. So the smaller amounts of transactions, the more the more transactions you do, the safer, the better. Uh, is there a threshold to force KYC? I don't know. You got to look it up yourself. Raptor Jesus, thanks for the $2 super chat. Love how you slap him as you guide him. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's just, it is what it is. I, I got to slap people to really get the message across. Like when I slap you, you actually wake up and you listen. UFO, thanks for the $5 super chat. What do you think about Grok? I mean, I don't know. I've never actually heard of this. Like, what the heck is a Grok? Well, go take a look. I have a bad feeling about this one. I think it's going to be a scam coin, but we'll see. We'll see. Grok. How is the all time chart? Oh, wow. It actually looks good. Slap me. Okay. It's listed on exchanges. Dang. Nice. It's pump a lumpin'. All right. Okay. So far, so good. It's passed all my checks. It's a potential gem. Potentially. There's two questions left. All right. Number one, what is the fundamental? Number two, is the team anonymous? All right. Moment of truth. Opening up the website. The Grok coin. Strongest LP. Musk shouted seven singles. Zero start, destroy seven action. Wang Zhang, protect the plate, miss the other chain, don't miss the currency chain. Is it a freaking meme coin? <laughs> no, God! 
God! Where's my therapist? No, God, please, Hello, therapist. No, yes. No, it's Crypto no, Galaxy again. Somebody no. just asked me about a meme coin, which is supposedly supported by Elon Musk, but it's probably actually a scam Ponzi coin. Can you please help me? When is your next available appointment? What are you slapping me for, therapist? Why? I just need help. Oh, man. Dude, this is so risky. Like, sure, you can make some short-term gains on it, but it's like, dude, is this a meme coin? This just looks dumb. You can put in 20 bucks if you want. I would not, I would not buy a lot of this. I, I would just buy a little bit. It's just 20 bucks, like 50 bucks. Actually, I would recommend, do it. I'm serious, go put 20 bucks in it. It's a fun lottery ticket. What do you have to lose? But just don't put a lot of money in it, all right? This is not the next gem. This is very risky. Just put a small amount of money in it. It's good practice for trading. There's like four Grok coins. This is not it. Oh my gosh, which one is it? Well, you gotta specify. If you just say, what do you think of Grok coin? This is all I get, so I'm assuming it's the first one. Is which one is it? You told me I had the wrong Grok coin up here, but you don't even tell me which one it is? Useless! Which one is it? Why are there so many? There should only be one. They're all scam coins. Okay, just just put 20 bucks in each one. There's four four Grot coins, right? Just put 20 bucks in each one. They're all scam coins. They're risky. <laughs> risky plays. They're really not worth it. That's not it. Well, you should have told me which one it was. <laughs> Sorry. It's the XAI. All right. Oh my God, this one looks the worst. Yeah, I'm done with it. They're all scams. Just, just do 20 bucks. Me, myself, and I. Thanks for that $2 super chat. Thoughts on GFAL's tokenomics. They look awful. <laughs> You're just now finding out that they have bad tokenomics. Of course they have bad tokenomics, man. They've always had bad tokenomics. It is awful. It's terrible. They only gave 2% to the public. The other 98% went to the insiders, the pre-sale, the devs, the team, the blah, blah, blah. But even though you have bad tokenomics, it can still pump a lot. See? Pumping. Bad tokenomics, it doesn't matter. It still pumps, okay? So it's not ideal but it still has pumping potential. There are so many cryptos in the last bull run that did 100X or more with awful tokenomics. Like I'm talking worse than GFAL, worse. So yes, the tokenomics are bad, but the goodness of the team and the fundamental and their marketing and their product and their games, all of that is gonna make up for the bad tokenomics, all right? It can still pump a lot because people ain't selling, all right? So it is what it is. Don't act surprised about it. <laughs> they are bad though, okay? It's good to be skeptical. Um, it is what it is. You can still make money with bad tokenomics. You know, I remember when I first bought GFAL at half a penny and I made my first YouTube video. I was like, guys, go buy GFAL. It's dirt cheap. It's at half a cent. And everyone said, oh, but bro, the tokenomics are awful. I'm never gonna buy it. And then look at today. The GFAL pumped to 3.6 cents and now people missed out on so much profit because they were com they were busy complaining about bad tokenomics and you could have made a 7X. So just just go buy some GFAL, dude. Just get a little bit. Just buy a little bit of it. Maybe it's not the best entry point right now, but I think long-term, it's a good entry. Tokenomics, whatever, man. It's just the way it is. This is the way crypto is. They all have Ponzi, Ponzi-nomics. Sup, CG, can GFAL do 100x? Yes. The Tensor Tau? I think it's a good crypto, but 
the market cap is too big. It's like a half billion. So how, how are you going to make that much money on it? It's a terrible investment. Good crypto, but it's not, not going to make you a lot of money. Yes, genius. Send your Caspa to the cold storage. Get a Tanjum and one key. The normies will pump our bags next year. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Exactly. G Swift is a sleeper. Get him nah. out of here. Get out. Scam. Tokenomics do not matter. Kadena pumped with bad tokenomics. Exactly. Kadena did 100x with terrible tokenomics. At least they show it. Yeah, you have to show your tokenomics. If you don't show tokenomics, that's really sketchy. The Humble Trooper, what's up, man? I'm buying the all-time highs for Caspa. I'm sure this is the real coin. I've got today a small loan to buy some more Cas because CMC putting Cas in the right spot makes me wonder about Binance. Listing will happen soon. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. Get some more cash ball. It's bullish. ICG, I took profits on cash ball and I put it into ICP and H bar that have, haven't pumped yet. <laughs> you sold your cash ball early for scam coins? Jazzy, thanks for the $2 super chat. Is my lady a scam coin? Do you even have to ask? Like, probably. Just the name alone sounds really stupid. Is it a meme coin? I've heard about it. You know, to be honest, the chart doesn't look that... Oh, okay, never mind. It looks bad. Negative 95%. Yeah, this is dead, dead, dead. Scam. Do not buy. Run away. Rowdy man, thanks for the one dollar super chat and the poop emoji, bro. We ain't want no poop in here. Just kidding. We can have the poop in here because these are all poop coins. Honestly, like these are all a bunch of garbage coins. Casper is the only non-poop poop coin, but these the rest of them are crap coins. Just the way it is. So thanks, Rowdy man, for the super chat. Shout out to you for being one of my first five ever VIP members. Man, you've been with me for the whole journey. Thank you so much, bro. Thanks for still being here. Rowdy man, my man. Been with me from the beginning. How much Caspa to make a million dollars by the end of 2024? Uh, I think Caspa can go to a dollar by the end of 2024, so you would need one million Caspa. Tao's fully diluted market cap is bigger than Caspa. That sucks. That make, dude, Tao's a terrible investment. Like, it's a great crypto, good fundamentals, but dang, dude, the market cap is way too big. Would you buy Caspa after 15 cents? Maybe. How many tokens can I store on Tangent Wallet? It's infinite. As many as you want. Billions, billions even and billions and you can put billions, billions of billions tokens on Tanjum. Tanjum doesn't store any firmware. There's no storage space. It's just an app on your phone. You think there will be another altcoin pump after today's BDC pump? Hold on, let me get my crystal ball. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out later. My crystal ball hasn't told me yet. Is Caspa still 50 to 100x? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes.
EG, I know you're a software engineer. Is it possible for Caspa team to implement smart contracts to Caspa? Yes, I am a software engineer. And yes, it is possible. They said that they will be working on it. G Swift is a scam with a layer O partnership as well as a Polygon partnership, Le Mayo. <laughs> oh, but the partnerships. Oh my gosh, Fly. I'm so sorry. How could I have forgotten about the awesome partnerships? Surely the partnerships will help pump your bags. Get out of here with these partnerships. Get out of here. Get out. Crow. Scam. That's a pump and dump scam coin. How many tokens can I store on Tanjump? Bro, bro, it's infinite. As many as you want. Samoid. Scam. Dude, rain is down 99% scam. Yeah, exactly. You don't even have to ask me about these coins. Is it a scam coin? If you just look at the price down, how far down it is from the all-time highs, if it's negative 99%, it's probably a scam. Anything negative 95 plus percent is definitely a scam. Is holding Casper for 2030 instead of taking profits this bull run a bad idea? No, that's not a bad idea. Crow is pump a lumpin? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with scam coins. If you want to live in a cardboard box. What does Caspa do? Go Google it yourself, dude. Go do your own research, man. Jeez. What does Bitcoin do? <laughs> All right, newbies, I'll see you later. All right, we'll Get see you out. later. Get out of here. Out. Everybody slap him on his way out the door. Get Kick out. his ass. Beat him up. Get him out. Get out of here. Have fun on your way out. Well, now we know your Christmas gift. A crystal ball. Do you think it's wise taking money out of 401k to put towards Caspa? Yes. Please sell your Caspa off you are a whale i need more caspa yes please dump your bags please can caspa thousand x from here the answer is always yes yes it is banana gun oh my god what's with these scam coins oh my god do freaking banana gun really i cg i sold my house and I put the money into Veracity. <laughs> Delano, happy birthday. What's up, dude? What's the difference between Tanjum, Classic, and Two? The Classic has no seed phrase. The Two has a seed phrase. JDAT, what's up? What is the ultimate homeless portfolio? You should get some Jasmine, some ICP, some Veracity, some Kronos. Tried to take money out, my 401k. They would not let you? Wow, that's a scam. At what price would I stop buying Caspa? I don't know, man. I thought it was going to be 10 cents, but then it pumped a lot, so maybe, maybe 15 cents. I don't know, man. It's hard to say. I don't know when I'll stop buying. So... If you're wondering when I'll stop buying Caspa, you should really just join my VIP membership and follow all of my trades. Thousand IQ move. Just do it. Do it. Just get on my VIP just membership. You can follow all of my buy and sell alerts right here on my Discord group, which I'm not going to show because you have to join. And then after you join, you can see. So just do it. Shout out to all my 508 VIP members. Great to have you guys here. Thank you so much. I believe Cubic is only on save trade, so I guess that sucks. 
You think cash will be three to five dollars before the bull during the bull run? I, I think five to ten dollars. Jack, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Just wanted to say thanks and share some of the profits with you. I know you said never mention figures on public platforms, but it's for people who will watch you during the bull run. I made forty thousand dollars in two months because I follow you. What? Wow, thank you. That's awesome, man. Forty k in two months. Let's go. We got to pump it up for Jack Sandu. Man, shout out to you for being my VIP member. Congrats on the profits, dude. $40,000 in two months. That's just crazy. And that's good. So if you want to share it, by all means, you can share it. That's cool, man. Congratulations. I do recommend for everyone else, you got to join the VIP membership. You could be the next Jack Sandu and be up $40,000 in two months. Just do it. Just join. Congrats on the profit. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. We got to pump it up for Jag. Oh, also, I have a promo code, too, you can use. Oh, uh, where is it? Here. The promo code is SAVE20. And you get $20 off, right? So if you join my monthly membership, the $99... Type in this promo code right here, SAVE20, one word in caps. You see this? Put this in, and you get, uh, here, $20 off, all right? So do this promo code. It's 79 bucks. Just keep in mind, it's not going to work on PayPal. Only the credit card and debit card, all right? No PayPal. I don't know why. It just doesn't work on PayPal. So try this promo code right here, and you can become the next $40,000 profit uh, trader. So do it. Just do it. do it. Just do it. Use my uh, second link in the description. So congrats, Jack Sandu, man. Anything you need, just shoot me a message and hit me up. Don't you know? Pump that up. I gotta pump up my hydration. My Caspa water bottle. I love this thing. Why is PZP a scam? All right, it's not really a scam anymore. I'll take it off the scams. PZP has been unscammed. All right, there we go. Yeah, hit the like button. Hit the like button very much. Thank you very much. Smash the like. Will Casper retrace to seven cents? Maybe. I don't know. I hope so, but it might not. You know what's not going to retrace is my VIP membership. $99 a month. I guarantee you 100% sure I will be raising the price to $129 a month. So if you don't join now... You will be joining later after the price pumps. All right, so join now before the VIP membership price starts to pump. So get in early. All right, I believe we covered a lot of good stuff today. So let's roll the credits. Brum, 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 brum. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Welcome new subscribers, MyLink Software and Gregory Arthur, Raul Bro, JD Wasahaba, Gahondo, Loren Ftizo, and welcome to the new members, Virtual Moon, and welcome, I mean, thank you for the super chats, Adrian Barrows, Sugar Lump Crypto, Evan Floyd. Clinton Logan, Mikey B. Zero Zero Kevin, Briscoe Wolf, Raptor Jesus Enthusiast the Third, UFO Grove Reaction TV, Me Myself I, Jazzy, Rowdy Man, and Jag Sandu. Thank you guys so much for all the super chats. Thank you for the support. Thank you to all 450 people watching me. Thank you if you hit the like button. Uh, if not, you can take a slap. They're free. Getting slapped by CG is completely free. 
All right, uh, don't forget to check out my VIP membership link in the description. Use the promo code SAVE20 for 20 bucks off. Just do it, just join, and I'll see you in my Discord channel after the stream. All right, so thank you very much for watching, and peace out.